So, here I am at last on Dartmoor. There we go. So I'm only literally a couple of minutes from the car at this point. Uh, yeah, it's taken a couple of attempts to get down here. Never been here before. Driven through, but that's about it. So I'm pretty happy to be here. Been keeping an eye on the weather and it just keeps changing, so who knows. Your guess is as good as mine. There's some clouds, but you know, it was raining when I left and that's a four hour drive. I think it's been chasing me. But I'm here. It's, uh, I think it's getting on for 6, 6 p.m. now, I think. So we've got two hours of daylight, I think, at this point. And uh, about an hour trek to uh, the spot I'm going to, which is a uh, spot Dartmoor Explorer has uh, been to already, so copying him. And already I can see. More pony. Yeah, I won't bother him. Right, so I'm going to get on with my little hike and uh, let you know how it went when I got there. We'll show you anything interesting we see along the way. See you in a bit. After from coming right down there, I finally got a bit of a flat pathway here to follow. <sighs> Exhausted me. I do a lot of walking, but not really this terrain. I've done for a couple of years since I went to uh, Peak District. Whew. I think I back too much as well. I've got this new pack, and uh, I just stuffed a load of stuff in it really. So I've pre-packed a bit too much. Probably going back to the car tomorrow and uh, going to a different spot for a different hike. So I might lighten the load a little bit. See a lot of the horse or Dartmoor wild pony prints. Yeah, that's done me in a bit. That's the view. If we've got an hour of light left. It was a bit later than my fault. But luckily, I don't want to say it, but it hasn't rained yet. I do love these uh, rock formations you get. Sometimes they're the right height to rest your pack on, too. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's all about. You don't get to see these things without a little effort. So my route might not have been the most practical one. So I'm going down there somewhere. This is what I've been stumbling around looking for, this little woodland I've come to. So I don't think I've got enough water with me. So, happy I found that at least. Just have to found, find the spot that I'm looking for now. I'm hoping it's down this side of the woodland because I've just walked past the boggy bit trying to get out. So, here we are. I think this is the spot we're going to have to. Uh, Staying tonight. Don't think it's where I wanted to, but it's getting late. I'm losing light. The stream's just the, over there. That tree is it's starting to spit a little bit. So I'm just gonna pitch up this new pack the Highlander Pro Force 66 litre. 
and for Olive this time. Gonna be bored of the uh, camo. So yeah, it's a nice little spot. There's a lot of marshy bits around here, but this this is quite dry here. So yeah, I think we'll uh, get set up, collect a little firewood, and have something to eat. Some starving. And this is the reason I moved my tent in here between the trees. <laughs> That's how you do it. I've cleared any roots here as well, so they don't slow burn back to the tree or anything. There you go, methylated spirits. Oh, that does its thing. Gonna have a beer. Go have our chicken. Shouldn't take long. It's only quite thin pieces. torch on it so you can see it. There we go. Our chicken is ready. Char grilled barbecue chicken breast. Shame about them pitters. So I stoke the fire back out now, get the last burn out of it before I go to bed. Pretty an early one tonight. It's been a big day. Get up. I was going to come out Sunday, but I um, had an interview Monday morning, so I had that and then uh, headed straight out here. So I'm going to eat this, and the next you might see is me in the tent getting ready for bed. This is my <laughs> potato, didn't have any foil, so I just put it straight in the uh, coals. She came out okay. It's cooked, same to go with the chicken. As soon as I've got them pitters, do me. Before bed. I'm in the tent now. 
just uh whoa. just watching the last of that fire die down that's an also good angle in here it's such a small tent yeah so that's just dying down I'll just watch that and then go to sleep it's pretty late now I've eaten I've had a cup of tea ready for bed so I'll see you in the morning morning I'm trying to motivate myself by opening up the door to the tent get some fresh air in here this is the fire from last night should be easy enough to cover over it was a fairly quiet night Heard uh, now, not much else. Just about the right amount of firewood last night. There we go, we've got some bacon and beans. Nice cup of tea. And we can get the day started. The sun's finally hit the valley, which is nice. It's time to warm up a little bit. Just to show you, that's where the tent was over there. Fire was down here. About to get out of here, leave no trace. about to walk past some more Dartmoor ponies. Try not to disturb them. Hard to get it still, but there's the truck in the distance. Got quite a good digital zoom in this game. And that's how far we've got to go. Then on to the next location.
So I'm sitting here waiting for my cup of tea. Quite a nice view of the reservoir. Don't know exactly what my plan's going to be yet for tonight. I'm going to try and sleep in the woodland or on the moors like I'm supposed to. Gonna walk around and see what things are like. Doesn't look particularly comfortable sleeping in there. Maybe okay with a hammock, but it's also pretty dark and dingy. We've clearly been cutting back here and see the resin on these pines. So we're gonna keep on looking. So it's quite a nice little opening. But it is Quite open, I suppose you could go right down the bottom there. There is another spot I want to check out before I make my mind up though. So I guess this is as good time as any. I've got a bit of sun behind the camera there and a little bit of shielding from the wind in the woodland here. I've been uh, tagged, my first tag on YouTube, um, by Dartmoor Explorer, so it's quite fitting to do this here. And there's seven questions to answer. So I'll just get straight into it. Why do you do YouTube? It's a good question. Uh, it pushes me to get out and do things. It gives you a reason to, to actually do it. Sometimes you might just think, oh, I won't bother today, but if you've got that kind of deadline of, of making a video, then it pushes you and spurs you to do the things you want to do. Plus I do have a, a background in filmmaking from my degree and stuff as well, so it puts interests together and it gets me out here. Question two, when did you start YouTube? Well, I'm quite a newcomer really, so it was uh, November last year, 2016, so what's that? six months if that so yeah just starting to meet some some other youtubers uh Dartmoor explorer we've talked about going out together so that, that could be cool chunky profile outlaw bushcraft and uh, hopefully meet a few more at the prepper meet as well so yeah around six months <laughs> uh question three how did you come up with the name uh kent that's where i'm from that's where a lot of my videos are based, so that, that seemed quite a sensible thing to choose. I did think about using um, bushcraft and things like that, but um, just decided to go with survival. I didn't want to kind of be labelled by using prepper and things like that, and survival kind of covers the lot, I guess. So yeah, can survival. Uh, question four, how long do you plan on making videos? How long's a piece of string? Until I stop enjoying it. <laughs> do you make your own thumbnails? Yes, I do. As I said, I've got uh, a background in kind of filmmaking, design, art, that sort of thing. So it's only sensible to do it. Um, it's the reason most people click on a video, the thumbnail as well. So you've got to keep it interesting, not just have sort of dead space. I'll let YouTube pick it. Uh, do you uh, do you do your own intros and outros? I do. I didn't want anything too long because sometimes you, you binge watch a particular YouTube channel and um, it can get really annoying if it's a very long intro. And if you're not, say, sat at your computer or it's on a TV player or something, it could be awkward to skip or fast forward. So I thought I'd do something short, sweet, just brands the video basically and reminds people what they're watching so if they catch it again or something they might subscribe because you don't always subscribe the first time you see a video by someone so yes I did make my own intro and outro 
I may update it at some point. There's a bit of a rush, but it will be kept simple, whatever. Do you do your own... Oh, I just answered that. What cameras do you use? Um, well, I started off and I didn't have a video camera anymore. I just had my DSLR, which is a 550D Canon, or D550. I always forget Nikon, Canon, but where around they put their Ds. So yeah, the 550. So it's getting on a bit now. I've not updated my camera in a while. It, it does the job for me. Uh, I have the lenses for it, so... Um, the only thing that doesn't really do very well is autofocus. It's quite an early SLR for doing video. They've um, perfected it a bit now, I think, so I might look at that in the future. So I can use the SLR for the pictures and the video. Um, I did buy, when just after I started making these videos, the Panasonic V210, or HC V210, um, which is what I'm filming up now, so I can't show you, but you can look it up. I'll put a link in the description. I don't think they make it anymore. Uh, it's an older camera. I picked it up about £70 four months ago or so. Um, it's good quality. It's HD. I liked the, the test footage I saw, so I thought I'd get it. And also use my um, phone as well, which is pretty old as well. It's a 5S, iPhone 5S. So if the other's batteries are going, or, or I can just pull it out, I'll use that as well. And yeah, I think that's the seven questions. Um, skip past this bit if you find it boring. Um, I have to tag some people. I'm not very comfortable tagging people that I don't really know or anything. So um, I'll tag uh, you, Chunky, Chunky Prepper, and Dave from Outlaw Bushcraft. I'll tag you two guys. So I hope to see your responses. Now I've got to get on. But I've still got good light. Find somewhere to camp. <laughs> I'm nearly at my destination, which is Tynehead Farm. Well, the ruins of Tynehead Farm, I think that's how you pronounce it. I should have been better prepared for this. So we're gonna go check that out, see its viability for camping. I think Dartmoor Explorer did, so it should be doable. So right behind me there is the woodland we've just come from. And if I spin around, we can see these are the ruins of the old farm here. So there's a little bit of wind cover. Not much firewood. So I'm gonna have to bring it from over there, which seems a bit of a chore. We shall see. So I've just done one trip for firewood. up there just beyond the tree line all the way the way I came before back to here we've already got a bit of a fireplace here An area to pitch our tent so yeah should be good so three wood runs later and bag run and we're on our way I've only just left the car so I've got the whole hike to do through the forest and again over to the farm ruin. So uh, I'm going to pick up a little bit more wood this time as well, some fatter stuff. There's some uh, wedges I put aside from the forestry people. <sighs> Speak to you in a sec. Goodness. 
It's like a proper whiteout. It's trying to settle as well. I'm thinking I should have got my bag before. Christmas trees. In all seriousness, <laughs> serious. In all seriousness, though, I haven't got waterproof trousers. I'm only halfway there. This stuff's settling. It's a whiteout. So no signs of letting up. Oh dear. Everything's looking quite different than before. I've lost the wedges that I put aside to uh, take for the fire. I really could have done with them as well, I think. Longer burning than the smaller stuff. Pain in the arse. I managed to get a little bit of signal back there and I checked. And it's snowing for an hour and then raining for an hour, I think is what it said. So, uh, I might grab that. I'm going to need a fire at some point to at least dry out. So the snow's starting to slow a bit now. Where we're headed. Unfortunately, that's the only additional wood I managed to get. Everything's just so punky here. Nothing's seasoned or freshly cut. Just heard a Dartmoor pony. Anyway, I better get going. Snow's picking up again. I don't think I could have walked another step. Not with that pack anyway. Knackered. Pretty much been hiking it most of the day. Not used to it. Annoying thing is, I think I just realised I left the beers in the truck. There's only two, but oh, that would have been nice about now. So I do love my tea. <laughs> That's going to have to do. So the second I got here, it stopped snowing. So that could mean the rain is coming. So the first thing I need to do is get this tent up, really. I think you can... Uh... guess that's the snowstorm moving away. Unless it's the rainstorm moving in. That's where I was going to pitch up. I um, covered up the wood before I went. More so anyone else wouldn't find it, but who else would be here? <laughs> so sunny earlier. That's not the rain. Right, let's get to work. Yes, it started snowing again. Let's get on with this weather. At least I've got the tent up, I might get in it for a bit. This is getting silly. Oh. Yeah, so just went a bit crazy out there. Glad I got this up in that little lull in the storm. Jesus. I managed to get my bag under the flap, boots under the other side. Got my foil uh, windscreen protector thing down. This was a little damp, but hey ho. <sighs> was not expecting this. So you have to hold off on that uh, fire <laughs> and dinner and anything else. Really wish I had that beer now. Well, the snow's slowing again, and uh, I don't know if you can see behind me there. It's a bit of blue sky. Hopefully that's coming this way. 
appears to be. Um, yeah, somehow managed to put the um, self-inflating mattress up whilst I was in the the coffin tent. So I don't know how I managed that because the uh, floor was getting quite cold. The temperature has dropped quite significantly actually. The snow is pretty much settling for the most part. Uh, I'm going to hold out a little bit, see if um, any more snow or rain comes and then maybe make a fire and cook dinner. I don't think anyone would begrudge a fire right now. Yes, I've wrapped up warm. It's pretty freezing cold. Some of the snow's melted away, but most of it's still there. Well, I don't know about most of it, some of it. So I've got my valuables, my valuables together and um, going back up to the tree line to get some more firewood because it's going to be a cold one. I'd also like some for the morning as well. I don't think there's going to be anyone else about, to be honest. I mean, I can't see anyone else about. <laughs> well, that's 100% the last wood trip I'm doing. Some down there and what's behind there. Yeah. Two kilometer round trip for a couple of handfuls of firewood is not good. It teaches you how much you can actually carry when you have to carry it that far. There's just nothing up here. I think it's been cleared where everyone's used it for campfires. I mean, there's some dead wood in the tree there, but I suppose you could yank it off with paracord. I don't really want to. But yeah, the uh, sun's set behind me there now. Um, let's sort out this firewood. Yeah. As soon as it gets dark, get that lit and then cook some food. So it's starting to lose light, so I've been preparing the fire. Some stuff that was here before, it's a bit rotten, and I think that's probably why it didn't burn when the last person tried. There's some stuff that I um, picked up before it snowed and rained, and I also found, bizarrely, a tinder bundle tied up. So this was just before by the uh, pathway. So maybe someone dropped it and I don't know. Very strange. But that's dry and that's going to come in handy. So we'll get that lit shortly. I think I'll just use a lighter. Might even put some methylated spirits on there first because I want a guaranteed fire and a lot of this is damp. So I think it's dark enough for a fire now. We've got our tinder bundle, but I wanted a, a bit of a um, experiment. I've uh, got some sheep poop dried, so it's just the fibrous materials. I'm sure that could be used to light a fire. So I'm going to give that a go. So I think it'll burn, but I don't think it's going to light our fire. So I think it's going to be our bundle. Which somebody kindly donated. I may put some methylated spirits on there as well.
to touch and go there for a minute, but I think we've got it going now. I don't know how I forgot to pack anything to light fires. I don't want to use my methylated spirits because if the fire fails, then no, no way of cooking. But I think we're going now. Buds in there straight away because I don't think this firewood's going to last. So yeah, the uh, fire appears to be raging, but I have used probably more than half of my wood pile. As long as I get my food cooked, that's the most important thing. So the potato's been in for a while. Got me a bed of ashes here now. My steak is very slightly still frozen in the middle, so it may take a little longer than usual. Oh, that fat's cooking away. Does it want to come off? Very much looking forward to this. I am starved. Oh, so the steak's had a bit of a rest. A bit of ketchup on there just to moisten it up a bit. Juicy. Don't know if you see that. That's because it was frozen in the middle, very bloody in the middle. It's pretty good. Potatoes were a bit burnt. Get them down now. Some of the filling's okay. Mm. Right, so I'm going to tuck in. No word of a lie, this is one of the best takes I've ever had. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a slight bit of a, a bit of a uh, crust on it. Toffee pudding, custard. Oh, perfect. It's going down nice. Well, good morning. It's about 6.30 I think. I slept like a baby last night. I woke up maybe twice, just because I was slipping down on the mat in the night. Well, the whole mat was slipping down, I think, so I'm on a slight slope here, I didn't realise. Oh, it's like the opposite of last night. Plus it was freezing. I just put the hood of this over me with the hat on. I bunged a couple of the hand warmers in here with me and... Uh, yeah, I didn't feel the cold, unless this come off a little bit. You could feel it was freezing out. So I'm not going to be going and getting firewood again and doing that palaver to make breakfast. I've got one more load of meths for the uh, alcohol burner. So, um, what do I can with that? I might use hand gel as well. Oh, can't get up just yet. The sun's just starting to hit us here. Oh, I've got a cup of 
tee on. Turned out I had the exact right amount of wood. Last well, night that's what's left over. <laughs> it started to rain. Had a quick pee and ran in the tent. And then slept like a baby. Uh, I haven't got much alcohol left for the stove. I think I might have a cup of tea and uh, get back to the truck and just go to a calf. <laughs> so, all packed up. That's where the tent was. Campfire, which was already built, so I'll leave it the way it was. They probably leave it like that so people do have fires, do it in there. Uh, I'll leave the wind deflector up, it was only over there anyway, so it should be alright. Backpacks all sorted, camera bag ready. So yeah, just a, um, I think it's 3k, back to the truck. A good trip. Halfway back to the truck now. But yeah, some very changeable weather. We got into the woodland, got out onto the moors, walked plenty. Yeah, it was good. It takes me about four hours to get down here, but well worth it. Hope to come back soon. If you've uh, not checked out Dartmoor Explorers videos, go have a look at them because uh, it'll show you in a lot more detail around here than what I know. Well, thanks again for watching. Probably gonna stick on a couple of my photos from the trip. And uh, you'll see a couple more links on the end screen to other camping videos. And for more camping videos and other survival bushcraft related videos, please check out my channel. It's Kent Survival. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you next week. These were my nice wedges that I put beside the path last night. But then I couldn't see them because of the snow and didn't know exactly where I'd put them. Oh well, we just about got through. <laughs>